Good morning. It's Friday, October 6, 2023. My name is Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God Wisdom, and our scripture is Psalm, chapter 19, where King David writes, The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The commandments of the Lord are right, bringing joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are clear, giving insight for living. Reverence for the Lord is pure, lasting forever. The laws of the Lord are true, each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. They are a warning to your servant, a great reward for those who obey them. How can I know all the sins lurking in my heart? Cleanse me from these hidden faults. Keep your servant from deliberate sins. Don't let them control me. Then I will be free of guilt and innocent of great sin. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my Rock and Redeemer. King David taught his son Solomon what wisdom looked like. Soaking up all the truth of Scripture, David summarized wisdom by the qualities God's Word will become in a believer's heart. There are six of them. God's Word is impeccably perfect, reviving the soul. Number two, God's decrees are trustworthy, making the simple person wise. Number three, God's commandments are right, making joy flourish in the heart. Number four, God's commands are clear, a light on life's path. Number five, reverence towards God is pure, an eternal blessing of clear conscience. And number six, God's laws are true, making fairness an everyday experience. Knowing God's way brings life, wisdom, joy, insight, and permanence. His way and blessing are available to all who will worship the true living God. David concluded his prayer recorded in Psalm 19 with a question and an answer. The question, how can I understand my own heart, all the sins hidden there? The answer, humble confession that I can't know the depth of my own heart's sins merely by my own wisdom. I must place my heart in God's hands, ask Him to forgive and cleanse me so my proclivity towards sinning won't control me. David closed the prayer with one final request. Lord, whatever I've laid before you here, O Lord, may it be pleasing to you. Do what you will with me. You are the bedrock of all my days and eternity. Now, if you've ever wondered where to start with praying to God, go back to Psalm 19 and grasp the depth of how anyone should and can approach Almighty God. This is the model for placing your life in His care and your heart's love at the foot of Calvary's cross. The result of studying and embracing God's love letter to humanity is revival for the soul, wisdom for making decisions, joy in the heart, light on your journey as you step out each day with a clean conscience, and a burning desire to spread justice and fairness to every creature on earth. <laughs> Did he leave anything out? For you today... David's son Solomon took his dad's evaluation of God's word to heart, and both history and God's word call Solomon the wisest man ever. Now that's not a bad place to start your day. It'll make finishing your day an adventure that won't disappoint. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.